With a catalogue packed full of star quality, anticipation was high for the second day of the Tattersall's December mare sale, and the results certainly didn't disappoint, with four lots passing the million guineas mark. It was Galileo mare Hanky Panky who topped the session when selling to John Ferguson Bloodstock for 2.7 million guineas. The Group 3 placed mare is out of Mariah's Storm, who is also the dam of champion three-year-old Giants Causeway, as well as You're So Thrilling, who in turn is the dam of Dual Guineas winner Glen Eagles and the 1,000 Guineas winner Marvellous. Hanky Panky is in foal to Sar of the Moment Dubawi and was offered for sale by High Clear Stud on behalf of the US-based John Secura. She was the most gorgeous, or is the most gorgeous mare. She's wonderful looking. Um, she's got the family to die for. It's the hottest family probably in the stud book. Uh, and then she had the covering, which was the covering of the moment, to be in foal to Dubawi. So to be by Galileo, from that wonderful family, in foal to Dubawi, she had it all. She deserved to make uh, top dollar, and, 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 and she has. And it's wonderful that John Secura from Hillendale decided to sell her with us, consign her with us at Highclere and bring her to Tattersall's um, and it's a great reflection for Tattersall's uh, for an American to bring their top class mare and sell her here in Newmarket. Less than 10 lots later the sales ring filled to the rafters once more to see champion two-year-old filly Tiggy Wiggy from Richard Hannon's East Everly Stables draft led into the ring. Her price quickly passed the million guineas mark, with bids lodged by representative from Northern Farm, Anthony Stroud, Nicholas de Watrigon and John Ferguson, before the hammer came down in favour of MV Magnia at 2.1 million guineas. The Group 1 winning juvenile is a daughter of Kodiak and is set to visit Coolmore's flagship stallion Galileo on her return to Ireland. John Ferguson Bloodstock struck again earlier in the day when adding Qualify, the only Oaks winner to be catalogued for sale at Tattersall's in memory, to his Hall of Four for the day to end the session as the leading buyer, spending a total of 5.3 million guineas. 1.6 million guineas was the purchase price for the classic winner by Fastnet Rock, who is from the illustrious Judmont family of Eva Luna, C. Moon and Workforce, and was consigned by the session's leading consigners, the Castlebridge Consignment. She's a lovely filly. We had her at home actually for the last three months since she retired from racing. Uh, beautiful quality filly, probably more Galileo than Fastnet Rock in her, but lovely quality, lovely natured filly and to be honest she was, she's been very easy to look after and, and very good to show here and took, took everything very well, travelled over well and no, she was a pleasure to deal with. The first mare of the day to break the million guineas mark was lot 1965, listed winner Setter, who sold to Hugo Lassels for 1.1 million guineas. Consigned by Fittick Stud on behalf of the exors of the late Sarah Lee, Lascelles had to see off stiff competition from underbidder John Warren, standing with Newsels Park Stud, to eventually secure the pivotal mare. Gerald Lee's great family, probably the last time we'll ever be able to get into it. Good race mare, first two yearlings had made between them I think nearly £850,000. Very good looking stock, a real rare chance to get into that family. She made more than we anticipated. But we had, gen, you know, Newsels Park, I think we're under bid, oh, there was some pretty serious people behind us. Lassels also bought lot 1898, Galileo Mare Cinemary for 700,000 guineas, which added to his haul of six for the day, seeing him end the session as one of the leading buyers with a total spend of 2,804,000 guineas. She's been bought for Hascom Stud, for Anthony Oppenheimer, and she'll be visiting Golden Horn. She's just very, very nice. She's an absolutely gorgeous looking filly. Galileo, great family, lots of daughters working for you in the family. So another, another family for Hascom, which is great.